You know what's good, YouTube. Scartavio here, back again once again. And today, people, we're going to take on Erica. But before we do that, we're going to stare in this mirror as we take a... We're going to stare in this mirror and do as my good friend here does. We're going to stare at women. And as we stare at women, let's go ahead and get a quick party update. Because if you saw the beginning of this episode, then you noticed that we did some, a bit of grinding. We got everyone except for Duracell and Magnemite up to level 30. Magnemite is not going to be used. We're just keeping them in the party if we need flesh for whatever reason. I don't believe we do anymore, but if we do, we have them. But anyways, we have Butterball the Butterfree, who I believe is actually our fastest member with Psychic Poison Powder, Teleport, and Sleep Powder. Then we have probably our highest attack stat, Grayson Argarios with a powerful 91 attack, and Bubble Beam, Dragon Rage, Bite, and Skull Bash. I'm going to get rid of Skull Bash for something. I don't know what yet, though. Then we have Toothless, our Charmillion, who actually does outspeed our Butterfree. I'm actually surprised about that. I didn't think that a Charmillion would outspeed a Butterfree. That's fine, because he's got Dig, Dragon Rage, Cut, and Ember. Fortunately, his move set is going to, at the end, going to resemble an HM slave. Then we have Pixelmon the Porygon, who is actually our bulkiest member altogether with 52 and 61 split. He's got Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Psybeam, and Recover. He ended up learning Recover during the grinding, and I got rid of Tackle for it. Just go ahead and switch the party around a little bit. Get the first, get the three members that we're going to be using in this gym: Butterball, Pixelmon, and Toothless in this gym up front. We're going to lead with Butterball simply because I think that he should, he will be the most useful because the only psychic, the only non-poison grass type in the first generation was Execute. And then we have our Toothless for that. Let's just go ahead and hit him with a Psychic. And yes, I know there's a huge level difference. And that crit didn't even matter. But if you know me, you know that I train for the gym leader. I don't train for the actual gym trainers. I see no point in doing that at all. Because if we train for these guys and then we face Erica with a bunch of level 25s, we're going to get destroyed. If we face them with her lowest level, then we then it's a decent battle. I'm sorry about that. I just heard something. I was I had to go check what that was. I'm apparently just hearing things now. So take note. You're watching the mental degradation of a human. I swear I actually do hear something, but don't matter because we're just going to continue with this video anyways. We wake up, it's going to keep on using crap, unfortunately, but we hopefully we'll get out of this sometime soon. Please. Come on, Butterball, just get out of there. Hit him with a psychic and in Weeping Bell's day. We stayed away around for far too long. And now we finally take him out. Let's go ahead and take on the second of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven gym trainers. There's going to be eight battles in this gym altogether. The seven gym trainers and then the gym leader. And she's going to go ahead and start off with an Oddish. We still have Butterball out front and we can go straight for the Psychic. And hopefully this will one shot. How much is Psychic actually going to do to the Oddish? It's going to one shot with a crit. I don't know if the crit mattered. But either way... That's a dead Oddish. And now she's going to send out a Bell Sprout, which. I didn't know this, but. The Bell Sprout line is kind of bulky. Like. Why? Why is it bulky at all? It shouldn't be a bulky Pokemon. Like, it doesn't seem like it would be bulky. It seems like it would be completely useless. Now we can see if that's. Crit actually did matter, seeing how much this will do. 
or not. We can just get more crits and crits and crits. And she has one last Pokemon, another Bell Sprout. I don't know if that first Bell Sprout was a crit. I wasn't paying attention. But let's see if this will actually one shot like the last one did. Wasn't a crit and it one shot. So that is a second gym trainer down. Butterball is probably about to gain a level after this. All I know is I had to record this one twice. Simply for the fact that the first time I try to record this, there's the AC in the background that I cannot control because it, it because I live in a strange household type situation. The AC is upstairs where we can't mess with it. But whenever I recorded last time, there was a whole lot of static. It was a ridiculous amount of static and I could not get it out at all. I tried to get some of it out and it slightly worked, but it was way too staticky for it to actually be justifiable to upload. I'm not going to upload something that I could not watch myself. I do YouTube for a multitude of different reasons, which we'll go into on a later date. I've already got some of it written out on my own, but... Because, yeah, I'm going to do a script... Lovely. Doesn't matter, let's just go for the psychic. I'm going to be doing a scripted video every now and then. I don't do scripted videos because of obvious reasons. I only do Pokemon videos, and well, you can't really script that. Seriously, like, what? Okay, if I start sounding like a crazy man, at least you can enjoy that. Never stick your dick in... Dickens. Never stick your dickens in crazy. I can't speak tonight. And yes, I say tonight because it's 4.48 in the morning. I just got done watching the new Doctor Who. And the Doctor is very strange. I'm a big Doctor Who fan and... I don't know how I feel about Peter Capaldi. Or however you're actually supposed to pronounce it. I've always said Capaldi. And I was told that I was actually wrong. So... I'm probably just going to keep on saying Capaldi because that's how I've always said it. I know some people don't care about Doctor Who and shame on you. Shame! Just kidding, but anyways. So the episode started off the season premiere, the Doctor premiere of Peter Capaldi. Well, first full episode of Peter Capaldi as the Doctor. He's had a few little brief bits in the past. Including a very confusing episode now that you put it into perspective. Okay, I'm going to explain that bit while I'm taking on these guys. Not dirt so you're useless dirt so go away. Just go ahead and hack away at the tree with cut. And we can go ahead and take her on because she wants to. Anyways, there's an episode called The Fires of Pompeii, and David Tennant, the 10th Doctor, or what most people know as the 10th Doctor, technically the 11th Doctor if you count John Hurt, and he's basically anywhere between the 10th and the 16th Doctor. I believe there was five non-canon Doctors during... Oh, we have no PP left for that. Well, that's lovely. Let's just go ahead and switch out to Pixelmon then. Him and I believe it was a uh, Donna Noble at the time. Oh, that's not fun. Let's just go for the side beam. Hopefully, this will do a lot to weep in, though. I know I was talking about Doctor Who, but I kind of need to concentrate on this weep and bow and the poison damage. No, we are not dealing with this. We are switching on out of here. We're going to go to Toothless and we're going to Dragon Rage this weep and bow. I honestly might want to keep Dragon Rage. <sighs> Son of a bitch. And well, so Capaldi was there not as the Doctor as far as we know now. That may be retconned later on, but 
as Peter Quality in whatever character he was playing. I believe he was a, um, a, not, the, not technically the mayor, but kind of similar, I guess you would say. And so, yeah, we're gonna go heal up after this battle. We're gonna stay on it against this gloom, though. Because Toothless is our last hope for this battle so far. And then Clara, or Clara, however you want to pronounce it, I say Clara, is also in that episode, but as like some kind of a cultic type group that's trying to make the volcano explode. It's been a while since I've seen the episode, so if some of the details are wrong, I apologize. And if we have any Doctor Who people in the comments below, then you can yell at me and correct me. You'd probably do it anyways, but that's just how the point. And so I don't know how they're going to tie that in because you have the current Doctor and his current companion that were also in another episode before they ever became the Doctor or Clara. Or we knew him as the Doctor and Clara, I should say, because, well, it's Stephen Moffat and he likes to do things that really confuse me. Doctor Who's a bit of a confusing show, but it is a very good show. If you've never actually seen it, I highly, highly recommend it. Do we have any antidotes? We have a full heal. Let's go ahead and full heal. I'm gonna go heal up after we take on the rest of these trainers. How did that tree grow back by then? But yeah, like I was saying, I don't know how they're going to be able to tie those in. They kind of talked about Misty, not not this Misty, not the Pokemon Misty. That, even though that would be a very nice twist, and Moffat would be like the worst but greatest person to ever live because of that. How can you be the worst and greatest person ever? Well, one, you're combining Pokemon in Doctor Who. And two, you're combining Pokemon in Doctor Who. So, yeah. Can't really decide which side is better. Seriously, can you stop poisoning Pixelmon? What has he done to you? Do you have anything against electronic ducks? Do you hate, du do you hate the game Duck Hunt so much that you have to poison Pixelmon? If anything, you should be poisoning dogs. I do not recommend poisoning dogs in real life. If you do, you are an asshole. Do not poison animals at all in real life. I don't care. That's just mean. That's a very mean thing to do. I've been all over the place for the topics today. Doctor Who poisoning animals. Pokemon. Stupid ACs that decided to kick on right then in the background. Hopefully this isn't messed up at this point. Probably going to be, but if it isn't, then yay. Good. What also is good is Toothless gained a level. And we defeat that last. Yeah, we're probably about to pause right here beside, this tr beside these two trees. And we're going to go heal up because we're poisoned and I don't really feel like losing anyone. And no, I'm not going to keep it on screen because as soon as I step outside the building, I'm just going to teleport there. And then we will be right at the Pokemon Center. So there's no point showing all that. So I'll be right back in just a moment. And we're back healed up. And I just shot the hell out of my arm. Kind of tingly. So I've got my blue snowball right here to the left of me. And because I don't have my glasses at the moment because I'm blind as it blind as a bat without sonar because I know there's going to be that one person. But Kato, bats have sonar to see. Yeah, I know, but it's a proverbial phrase. You know what I mean. Stop being that type of person. And so I had to reach around to use the speed up button because I didn't feel like walking. And I got a big old shock. Kind of hurt. I learned not to do that. But let's just go ahead and take on this Lovely little lass over here. Is that her arm or is that a piece of her hair? I really can't tell. 
And yes, I know I mentioned this a couple episodes back, asking if there was any non-grass poison types in first one, in the first gen. In the first one, English maybe be my first language, but it's not the one I speak the best. I cannot ever speak on, on these. I don't know why I act like it's a new thing, but hopefully I'll get better at it eventually. Until then, let's go ahead and switch out to Toothless, burn these eggs, get them sunny side up. No, he's going to go for the hypnosis. And he's, of course, going to hit it. Because, why not? Okay. How often do you see a Pokemon in game use Reflect or. Um, not Mirror Coat, but Light Screen? And also, I love how it says Enemy Execute gained armor. That's a very strange way to put that. Well, let's just go for a Dragon Rage, see how much that will actually do to the eggs. It's going to do over half. It's going to go for the Barrage, which shouldn't do too much to us. That kind of that kind of stings. Ignore me. And just watch the Execute get destroyed by two Dragon Rages. Honestly, this move is so powerful early. Like, yeah, I know we're fourth gym and we're about halfway through with the game, but still, this is wonderful. I know she leaves off with a Tangela, and that thing is annoying. So let's just go ahead and lead off with our Toothless, hit them, hit them with a couple of Dragon Rages, and take out the Tangela because this thing likes to spam Bind and Constrict. And as you know from a few of my previous little rants. Find a constrict in first gen never end. And if you're faster, you lose. And if your opponent is faster, you will lose. But she's going to lead off the Tangela, like I said. And then we're just going to hit Tangela with a Dragon Rage. See how much that will actually do. It's going to put him in the yellow, but right at the green marks. So I don't know if a, two of these will kill. And this is what I'm talking about, the continuous bind. You have to out speed and get out of the bind or you lose. It doesn't kill like I thought it was going going to, but that's fine. Just go for another Dragon Rage, put him in yellow, maybe red, probably red. Yeah, right at the red. It's going to go for one more bind, but that's fine by me because we can just get out of this very soon, hopefully, and then we can kill you with a Dragon Rage, which we do. So Tangela is down. You know what? She has three Pokemon. I have three Pokemon that I want to use. You're going to send out your Weeping Bell. I'm going to send out my Pixelmon. I'm going to save Butterball for her ace. So let's go to Pixelmon. Hit him with that Psybeam. See how much it will actually do. He's going to go for the Stun Spore. Land it. And we're actually going to get through with the Psybeam. That does absolutely nothing, but he does become confused. Hit yourself in confusion. No, he's going for the Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf in first gen doesn't look... Yeah. Okay. I said I was going to go 1v1, but that Razor Leaf decided it wanted to almost one-shot Pixelmon. Please hit yourself. Please give me a free switch. No. God, no, 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 no. Don't. 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 No, 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 no. Okay, thank God it did not crit. But we can go for an Ember and see how much that will do over a Dragon Rage. This doesn't do Dragon Rage next turn. Go for the. He's going for the Acid. Oh. Live this, Toothless. Thank you. Toothless lives it. We can go for the Dragon Rage, and that is a dead Weeping Bell. Okay, so this is not going as good as last time. We kind of just walked in this gym and swept. But let's go out to Butterball. He is our ace after all. Let's go straight for the Sleep Powder on the Gloom. Because this is first gen and basically anything goes, it, 
misses. Oh god, that's not good. Butterball, eat this up, eat this up, eat this up. Eat it up. Gonna go for the sleeve. Okay, I guess it doesn't work. I guess that was a... Th no, I know that's a 6th gen thing. I know for... Oh, that's not fun. Either way, let's just go for the psychic. I'm just hoping that we don't lose anyone. If need be... Oh my god, that did a lot. <laughs> not even bad, Butterball. He's gonna go for the super potion, which is fine by me because his special defense fell. We can get another psychic off. Butterfree is going to take out the gloom with another crit. That's a bit closer than I wanted to be, but Butterball does gain a level and go to 32. Butterball is our highest level on our team. It's not even bad. She's going to go ahead and give us the rainbow badge, which, after we get out of this battle, the little bottom should be upgrading. Couldn't really find a good one for poison, but I hope the purple does well. Just wait until we get to the psychic one because that one really was awful. But either way, that will be until after we beat Koga, which we're going to have these three same Pokemon for. Because we've got Dig, we have Psychic, and we have Psybeam. So let's just go ahead and get on out of here, go heal up, and then end off the episode. As you can see, we took a little bit of a beating. That... That wasn't fun. Just go ahead and teleport there, I don't feel like walking. That is wonderful to have. I just love having teleport on someone. I mean, yes, we never use it in a battle for obvious reasons, but it is still a fantastic move to have. So, you know what, we're not going to take it on, but we will make our way to, no, you know what we're actually going to do, we're actually going to go into the underground, because we never actually went into the underground, even though we were supposed to, but because we can get in set with Saffron already, we're going to take the underground path there. And you heard a sleepy Pokemon appear near, near Celadon City. Wasn't well, that nice? Is there really nothing in here? I thought there was going to be a few trainers in here. Well, this is a very anticlimactic. Yeah, that was not exciting at all. Do you have anything exciting to say, though? The deep post store in Celadon has a great selection. Okay, that's nice, but no one cares. You know what, we're just going to make our way to Lavender Town, and then we're going to end off the episode. I know it's a bit more editing, but who cares? A few little, edit few little bits of editing will not kill me to do. Let's just go for the cut, take out that tree, void the grass, because we found a couple of powerful Pokemon in there, and I don't feel like messing with them. But we're going to go ahead and cut down this other bush, get make our way to... Lavender Town, and then we're going to end off the episode. With us standing now in front of this is going to be the Lavender Town sign. The new self scope. Make the invisible plane to see. Wait. Do we have the self Yeah, we have the self scope. I didn't know if we had the self scope or not. But either way, with us standing in front of the Pokemon Tower, talking to this little girl to ask if we believe in Ghost, we're going to say no. And then, that white hand on your shoulder, it's not real. <laughs>